Welcome to Ignite Success. I'm your host, Snowden McFall, 25-year professional speaker, six-time author, and women's coach in confident public speaking and money business breakthroughs. And with me today is Danielle Moga. Danielle is the founder of The Ideal Advantage, and she coaches folks in business strategy, and she is a communication expert. So welcome, Danielle. Well, thank you so much, Snowden, for having me today. I appreciate that. So I know that one of the things you've done most recently is you've had this phenomenal summit called Communicate to Captivate. Tell us more about that. Yeah, it's been so fantastic. You know, in the work that I've been doing with coaching, consulting, and business strategy, you know, communication is either the cause for the struggle or the keys to success. And so we've been working with more than 20 different leaders in area of communication, and you being one of them, of course, <laughs> um, that have come on to help us to learn how to improve rapport, influence decisions, and build confidence to get what we want in business and life. So it's just been a joy working with every and such great information that they've been sharing with the audience. Terrific. So tell us a little bit about your corporate background, because I know you were in that before you started your own business. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, in my early days, I got my start in public accounting. And so going on and doing the audit and tax work and computer consulting for a host of different clients in lots of different industries. And really, that's where I got my start in knowing how to ask specific questions to get the answers that we needed to move forward. And oftentimes that question is the sticking point in a lot of different ways for, um, for getting the answers that we need, right? And so from there, I moved into various leadership roles in different organizations, did a lot with mergers and acquisitions and different things and organizations that really required um, out of the box thinking and bringing teams together. A lot of times when you're bringing teams together from two different organizations, there is a different way to communicate. There's a different process. There's a different way of doing things. And it's really about finding some common ground. And that comes from connection. And that really comes from listening, uh, empathetic listening, I would say, and understanding their point of view so that you can position yourself in a way to bring, bring those two teams together for a common solution. So that's awesome. And and how would you say the most effective tips in terms of enhancing that listening, enhancing that team? Yeah, I think it's really just about, um, you know, I like to say God gave us two ears and one mouth. So listen twice <laughs> as much <laughs> and, and just take the time to really hear what they're saying. And if you're not sure then ask some clarifying questions and really come with the idea and the intention that everybody is coming from a good place. They may just have some difficulty getting there. They may feel threatened. Um, they may have something going on in their life that may be blocking a good conversation. And so really just trying to, again, build that connection, build that rapport, which is really essentially trust and that we're all trying to work towards a common solution, you know, one that's going to serve us, our customers and the overall business very well. So I think it's just really listening intently and you can do things like repeating things back, um, reframing it. Uh, one of the great speakers on our, on our summit said, you can't answer a bad question. So make sure that your questions are good. Make sure that folks are understanding the questions and the things that you're trying to understand. Awesome. So who are some of your other leaders that you have on this terrific summit? Yeah. Um, so Danny Brussell, he actually was paired up with you. He's a great uh, speaker and keynote and just a masterful storyteller. And that's a really great way to make connection and communicate with others is connected to some personal story or something that folks can all relate to. Um, Amy K. Hutchins, she works a lot with uh, corporate folks, executives, and helping individuals get to the other side of the conversation and really help lead towards a profitable conversation and profitable doesn't just necessarily mean money it's what's the what's the win what's the win to both sides and so one of the phrases that she likes to say is that the relationship that we all want is on the other side of the conversation uh, Derek Gaunt who was a ex hostage negotiator I mean that's really about communicating when it counts right when you have lives at stake and so Derek really teaches us about um, tactical empathy and tactical empathy 
empathy is really understanding the other person's point of view, what they're feeling, what they're experiencing, and being able to leverage that to, um, to get them to a better place in that moment. So I know that folks can still sign up for this summit and listen through the end of October, right? And so, and their right, videos, exactly. they, their videos that yes. they can watch on their own time and it's free. So what's the best way for them to sign up? Yeah, absolutely. They can go to communicate to captivate summit.com. So communicate to captivate summit.com. You put your name and information there and each day you'll get a set of interviews delivered directly to you. And there's also a link in there so that you can catch up on the past interviews that have already occurred. And as Snowden, you mentioned, all the interviews will remain available through the end of October. Terrific. Well, thanks for all you do, Danielle, and thank you for making a difference in the world of communication. We appreciate having you here. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. You have a beautiful day. Thank you for watching. We have more interviews with great women coming up soon.